very good morning to one and all. It's Sunday now, the 25th of August, just coming up to about 10 o'clock in the morning. And today, I'm taking you out again. We're going to Stanley Park because it's their classic vehicle show, the once a year event. So I'm just waiting for two of the viewers of this channel to arrive and then we will go in. So yes, another day out for us at Stanley Park for this classic vehicle show. The very first vehicle that we will see is this MG here. How are you, John? I'm alright. Now, this car goes right back to the 1985s and it's very, very rare indeed. There's the card that is on the window screen. Beautiful condition, it really, really is. And look at the panel there, look. Absolutely lovely. The MG. Well, I'm very lucky here because I have in front now the proud owner who's just going to say a few words about this vehicle. Well, I used to have an MG TF1500 and I had it for 25 years. Took it to uh, Tenerife and back. That was a long drive. And then we sold it about 10 years ago. But I missed it. Now, the MG TF1500 ceased being produced in 1955. But in 1985, Austin Rover got together with Alistair Naylor, who was a renowned restorer of old MGs, and suggested they make them again. And this car has the original MGTF body and the chassis, but it was made in 1985, and it differs from the originals in that it has a, a bigger engine, it's got a 1700cc engine, that was used in the Morrissey Tal, and of course it's got modern electrics and there we are so thank you very very much thank okay. you very much you're my, a lovely man thank you pleasure. and you got a beautiful car thank you the next one we see is this Ferrari again in the color of the red There's all the technical data against that wheel there. A beautiful car, as all Ferraris are. I'm going to take you to the back where the engine is. There's the engine bay there. Spotless. Now, as a point of interest, I can tell you and show you that this car is for sale and there's the telephone number there and you've seen the details of all the data previous in this video the red Ferrari next up is this cream colored Chrysler no that's a Chrysler that's from New, New York Look at its white width, look at its um, white wall. All the tyres, white walled. I said it was cream, but possibly, yes, it, it, it could well be in white. But whatever it is, it's magnificent. And again, I can show you and tell you that this vehicle is for sale. And there's the telephone number right in front of you. And again, we're really lucky because in front now is the very proud owner. And he points out that yes, it is for sale and it dates back to the 1956 era. There's the number plate there and it indicates 1956. You got this. <laughs> now I have two items to show you here. First of all, I introduce you to Wayne. Yo, Colin. Very good morning, Wayne. Good now, morning. this is one of the viewers of, of my channel. And the second thing I'd like to show you is this here. 
the back of this vehicle here. It's Van Haller. And as people may know, in the Pleasure Beach, there's a ride called Valhalla. But this is the vehicle today that I can show you with our friend here, Wayne, just standing next to it. Van Haller. Here we are, this red Mustang, this red Mustang with Wayne, and we introduce our latest member, Ellen. There we are, Ellen. Again. You made it then? Yes. You made it. Nice to see you, nice Ellen. Nice to see you. Ellen. And there's Wayne again, standing next door to this red Mustang. Ever so pleased to see you both, and thank you for joining me. And it's wonderful to see you again. Now, next up is this here, and we see representatives from Hollowell and Sons funeral directors. Now, today there is a Massey Ferguson tractor, and one of the members here from the firm. Thank you very much. Very good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm just going to show one and all again. If you guess the purchase price of this Massey Ferguson tractor, you will win an iPad. And this is the tractor here. One cracking Massey Ferguson tractor. And again, a view of this lovely rep from the company. And already it's got a huge amount of people trying to guess the price of this tractor. D. Hollowell and Sons. Next up is this red and white Nissan. Now, here is the owner who's going to say a few words about this vehicle. Good morning, everyone. It's a Datsun 240Z. It's been fully rally prepared. It's done the historic Monte Carlo rally twice, 2013 and 14. Uh, and then it's done the Tarmac Medina rally in Malta, which it won outright. Did it really? Yes. Oh, so it's steeped with history, this, mm, this, this car. Is, sir, yes. Oh, it's a credit to you. Thank you. Yeah. Look after it, and thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Beautiful car. Just going to show one and all inside with all the engine, etc. And again, I thank you very much. You're most welcome. Very, very I interesting like car. Yeah. Now, next we see is this Cobra. And again, we meet the very, very fortunate owner who's looked after this car. He's going to tell us a few words about it. Right, uh, it's uh, AK Sports Cars Cobra. Uh, put on the road in 2006 and built by myself over three years. Was it really? Yeah. This is a self-build one? Yeah. Oh, you've done a cracking job. Uh, and it's a lovely colour. Um, can you explain the colour, please? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Fiat Lancia colour because there was a Fiat Puntel with white stripes that I saw one time in about 2006, something like that. And I thought that's a perfect colour for a Cobra. So it is. Oh, it's lovely. I'm just going to show one and all inside the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Oh, look at that lovely panelling there, look, and the seats. Leather, lovely seats. So we again thank this young man here for the introduction, etc. Now next up here is this most interesting car. I'm just going to ask this young man to turn around. Angry Dog Racing. And this is his vehicle here. I'm going to hand the video over to this man who's going to tell us all about it. It's some vehicle. Yeah, it, um, it's V6 3 litre. Um, it's been tuned, mapped, uh, about 250 brake horsepower. Um, originally the car was sold to me as spares and repairs. It was in a very, very sorry state. Um, so I just took it for myself to uh, clean it, polish it, get it all looking nice. Well, you've done one remarkable job. It's a credit to you. I'm just going to walk around the car for my viewers to see. And this is a Ford. I again thank the owner 
after another look inside here. Look, look at this. Absolutely marvellous. Thank you very much, young man. Thank My you. My pleasure. Thank Have you. Have a good day. Now, in front here, this wonderful example of an Austin 7. And there's the wife part there, and this is the husband here, the very proud owner, who's going to say a few words about his vehicle. Right. It's a 1938 Austin 7 Pearl. The... Um, Pearl costs you about eight pound more than the um, saloon with the metal roof. They weren't that popular for that reason, but there isn't that many of us compared with the Ruby. But um, we've had it since 2011. Uh, it, we, we bought it as you see it now. Uh, the previous owner spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> we found it in, um, in Sittingbourne in Kent. Uh, and, um, we just got, uh, hired a trailer or borrowed the trailer brought it to Kendall where, where it lives now. Thank you very much. Right. I'm going to... Okay. It was... It, you've done that very well. I'm just going to show your wife again inside this marvellous example of an Austin 7. Now also at this car show we have this George Formby Society. We've seen these a couple of years ago, I believe pre-COVID time as well. This is the George Formby Society.
now time for us all to leave this car show today because I really want to get home and edit this to upload it to YouTube as soon as I can. Now this final view will show you my two friends here who have been kind enough to come to see us and they're standing at the gates of this very nice sports stadium. Ellen's trying to get out with Wayne but I think we should leave them locked in. That's what I think. Now the, there we are. This is the view of the wonderful stadium inside Stanley Park. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video all about the car show and who you have met and the music and my two friends here who view my channel. So I will see you all next time. Bye bye now. Bye bye.